let's see here. So we see three things, right? We see the one right here, the one right here, and the one way down here. Yes. So the two close to you have uh, noticed uh, Valnir, and uh, these skeletons actually have some flesh still on them. Uh, it seems to be rotting and oozing pus as uh, it lumbers towards the Valnir. Uh, and... Okay. So, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kind of stand in a, a like a heroic stance, stretch my arms out in front of me, crack my fingers like like this sort of thing. You can see my stream, I'm gonna crack my fingers like this. Reach down, grab that wand that I got, wiggle it around in the air, and I'm gonna cast a spell. Sure thing. And I am going to target the one closest to him. And I believe I want to try and cast the spell. Uh, I think I'm gonna try magic missile. So I'm currently spell level four. The wands, I believe. Let me see if I still. It was have plus that. one, plus one level. Oh, it's gonna surge. It's one d one hundred. Fifty six. So my hair is going to fall out. And on a roll of fifty five to fifty six, my hair falls out but grows back within twenty four hours. <laughs> so magically whatever hair i have on my my head just like falls out everywhere but i cast a level five magic missile at the target so there you go one missile's gonna hit for two one's gonna hit for three one's gonna hit for four okay a total of nine damage and are you going to move uh no i'm gonna stay there Okay. The one that you hit turns away from Valnir, hissing as it starts to lumber towards Shell Rocket. Oh, there you go. Hey, pro it uh, provoked a uh, target of opportunity. No. And you miss. And. He gets into the water here and stops. This one over here happens to uh, have a bit of hair in mixed in a uh, light fur covering some of its arms as it lumbers towards Valnir. And it will swing. And I'm assuming a six does not hit Valnir. Thankfully, no. no. I pull out two rapiers out of the uh -huh. satchel or bag or... So you pull out two rapiers. Are you going to use the relic set ability to give one of them uh, minus one to the damage, but plus 1d6 elemental damage? Fire. All right, I'll go here and hold. Okay. And I'm assuming your hold is uh, you're going to attack the zombie if it gets in range. Right. Okay. So my turn, I'm going to get out of my prone position. Uh, I am going to puke um, and do Go the right electric ahead. boogaloo with it. So I do 11 damage. So uh, I, I puke 3 acid and 8 lightning damage. The acid starts to eat away at its flesh and uh, sent a shocking uh, convulsion through the thing's body as some of its flesh trips off into the river to be swept out to the ocean. I had one more buff that I was trying to put on myself. I may just back up a space and finish casting my last uh, psychic power. Um, I will step back one, and I'm going to manifest a metaphysical claw which is pretty much like a enhancement bonus onto natural attacks. So I'm going to leash a line of electricity from my fingertip, or in the case of the wand, from the wand, 
Any creature in the uh, in the electric line is dealt 1d4 points of electrical damage per caster level, max of 5d4. Okay, you don't and surge. And one surge. <laughs> oh, my hair falls out again. <laughs> oh, that is some nice damage. And guess what you get to do? Okay. I do what? I get to delete him! Okay. Let's go! You send lightning that courses through the river and through yeah. this thing's body, cr making its bones crack and split apart before it collapses into the river uh, and going under. There are oh, no bubbles. Land. It doesn't even come back up. It's going to move forward and attack Valnir again. It's Valnir, so it is now Rin. going to hide. Roll and hide. You think you are well hidden. Try and damage, and we are flanked. That does not hit. I'm going to just attempt to strike it. And you hit. Ten damage. You knock its lower jaw off as you hit it. And what is this guy down here doing? Uh, right now, it seems to be uh, inspecting the giant uh, shield while uh, its flesh slowly knits back together. But you can visibly see its flesh knitting back together. Uh, I guess maybe I'll hide. Okay, I'll roll to hide. I'll hide. I'm hiding. You press yourself back up against the cliffside uh, and find a little crevice in the shadows that you think will hide you really well. The zombie that had its lower jaw knocked off gets quite angry. It's going to swipe at Valnir twice. Oof. That hits. Yep. That does not. And okay. And then I have biofeedback up, so that is it by two. I'll take five. It spent its turn swinging its arms, flailing about. So to use the blunt part of my weapon, <laughs> one misses. Sweet a miss. A nat one. You manage to keep your balance enough, but unfortunately, catching your uh, balance causes you to be unable to uh, maneuver about this turn. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it again. Okay. That is a hit. Eleven. A nice solid hit. This comes out the other side. A number of its rib cage. I'm gonna move to I'm gonna target him with a lightning bolt. Using okay. a wand. Surge there. I regain two D ten hit points. Zap! For 12 lightning damage. Do you like Mortal Kombat moves? <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. I'd like to shoot him in the chest and watch his head explode. So just covering wait. everybody nearby. It turns, sees all of you there, and it points as, uh, with a bony finger, as, the f as flesh seems to grow over that finger, and three figures pop out of the sand. The other, uh, the skeletons that come out of the sand, you know, you can see them coming. I'm gonna do my hide and move silently check. Just as long as I'm across the bridge, I'm good. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hold, I'm good. I'm also gonna do a hide and move silent attempt. I am gonna go right along here. I am gonna ready an attack. Just gonna double move towards him, I guess. Yeah, I just double moved, moving towards the, the bad guys. I guess I'm gonna move to the bridge. The elected is going to step out of the shadows. It is going to do a cone attack, where it's going to blast psychic energy at you guys, and I'm going to need everyone to make a will saving throw. You and Shell Racket are stunned for nine rounds. Nine. Uh, yeah. I will let you do the re-roll on the bracers if you want to. Okay. Just, and All that right. actually passes. 
I drop my wand. Yep. And you manage to drop the wand uh, so that way it lands sticking straight up so it's fairly visible. Okay. Skeletons are going to try and hit Velma. And I'm assuming they both mess with it too. <laughs> uh, yes. It has four arms. It moves here. And that's its turn. Ultimate, hey, can you wake up Shovel Racket? I'm going in. You hit? Okay. Guess what? One of the blade goes in and is able to knock through a couple of bones, damaging the uh, integrity of the skeleton spine. It's really the flames that do most of the work, causing the bones to crack and splinter, turning into dust. Oh, we're you know, you chill. What are you doing here? <laughs> he's pretty much long gone. He's babbling mindlessly, walking around. He's he's a goner. That is a mess. Hold up, truck, and I get bigger. Valnir smash, and that hits, and that is enough to pulverize the skeleton into dust. You do not end the uh, stunned early, and you have eight turns left of stun. It is going to move forward, raise its hand, uh, and it's going to point it at this skeleton here. And this skeleton is going to get bigger. And this guy is going to try and punch Valnir, and we're going to have a Godzilla versus King Kong uh, action going. It is going to attack you, punching with two of its arms. Okay, it throws itself off balance, and you get an attack of opportunity against it. And that hits. You manage to deal a solid blow to it, uh, keeping it staggered for a little bit before it's able to right itself. Okay, you're gonna move behind it. And you're gonna attack it, I assume? Yep. That is a hit. It also has damage reduction, because that's mm -hmm. a good trait, so you're dealing with yeah, five. And that's the first attack. Yep, yep. I'll try the other one now. Okay, and that one hits. So a total of three damage. Okay. You don't really seem to be doing much, but you're chipping away at the skeleton before you. Well, both of them. Alright, so then I'll go there. You don't seem to do anything to the skeleton. However, the, uh, the liquid that has its flesh knitting back together, uh, you manage to hit it and you affect it. Expend my psionic focus and imbue it with a psionic fist attack where it'll do extra damage if it hits. And that hits. And you manage to give the skeleton quite a solid punch and you, because it happens to be a fist attack, it's bludgeoning. You estimate another hit like that could send it uh, tumbling down. A will save to end. It did not work. One more attempt. It's going to move, and all three of you are going to roll another will check. Valnir is the only one who passes. Rin, you drop your blades and Yikes. they disappear. But well, you drop your weapon. And down there, you hear a psychic rend, but it passes and you're able to toughen, uh, toughen through it without anything happening. While this skeleton deems you as the biggest threat and it's going to attack you twice again. And I'm assuming a 15 does not hit you. It does not. 
then make a will check to end being uh, stunned to earth. And so you will, you cured your, uh, you managed to shake off being stunned at the end of your turn. I just rearm myself. Okay, it's going to be an attack of opportunity. And an 11 does not hit you. Wait, no. Roll your will check. Two. One higher. Ethanol's just wandering away. Um, I will five foot adjust. And that hits. Okay. The skeleton has lost one of its lower arms, of its four arms. And Jill Racket is going to roll for Will. You are no longer stunned. You may Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna move over to that square. The Illithid. So this one is going to move here and it's going to try and uh, put one of its tentacles upon uh, you. It oh, managed Jesus. to get one of its Four tentacles upon you, and you are going to take five damage as the suckers on it stick to your head. But the four-armed guy do its brightest thing it can think of and continue to attack Valky. And it managed to hit you, critical. It's doing 22 damage. Well, that drops me from 26 to 20, from 26 to 4. Well, I take two off, of, two off of that, so it drops me to six. Technically, it's a crit. Six fire. And you specifically were hitting with the blunt part of it, so that's nine. Yep. And that hits as well. He's easy to hit, but was slightly more tanky. But Rin manages to sweep the legs, knocking it out from underneath this skeleton and it collapses on itself, its bones scattering about, causing it to fall apart. You're moving there. And let me roll your will check. Okay. That is unfortunate. I'm just gonna go ahead and go for the full hit. I'm not gonna do the power attack because I don't know how hard And you hit. That's a solid hit. And you greatly overpower it. It seems to stumble. You can technically flick it into any square within 10 feet of you. Move him one straight back towards me. I'm pulling him back with me, I guess. Okay, and the tentacle is no longer attached to you. Jimmy, light of sight, I can't see it! <laughs> and then that way I'll do it. Okay, you fling him over there, and... Shell Racket is no longer affected, so uh, you can pick up your wand and start casting. So pick up the wand. I'm going to do a five foot step this way. That's to... the deal. I'm going to lightning bolt him. Okay. Actually, I need you to roll a caster check to overcome spell resistance. And you do not overcome the spell resistance, which... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Since it doesn't have to move, it's going to try to make a full attack, which is four tentacles on Valmir. What is your the, AC? Three out of the four get through. One is going to deal five, one's going to deal five, and then one of them is going to deal three. Uh, and each of them gets reduced by two, so... Well, I'll just take um, the 15 and subtract six. Yeah, so... But taking seven still drops me. ...to leave you there on the ground, and it is going to move. All right, I'm just going to attack him. F it. Oi. And you miss. How can you be so bad at rolling archaic? Your will check. Yes! And you pass. Well, the good news is I moved right where my weapon is, so I'm picking up my weapon. Okay. And I am changing to healing, which will instantly stabilize 
Uh, Valnir. Valnir, you're gonna gain one health, stabilize, and you do not lose uh, any health to being to bleeding out due to that yeah. switch. Yeah, I, I gain the one hit point. My eyes like start to flutter open. I'm like, ow. I'm just gonna kind of lay here for another round. We'll go 25. We'll go here. I'm gonna go nuts. This is this is me letting fate decide what happens. I am going to use the wand. I'm gonna do the ultimate. This is the possibility of surging three times in one turn. I'm gonna use the ultimate. I'm going to use the wand to cast uh, the reckless Wammer spell that's going to copy a lightning bolt. That's a fail. All right, I'm done. 17. That hits. <laughs> you deal 10 damage to the Illithid with your first attack. And the second one hits. I mean, at least you did something. I did. Okay, you use her dragon's breath. And it is going to do its reflex check. 21. So it does half damage rounded up. It does uh, four, five, seven damage. This elithid seems to be on its last legs. I move. So, Valnir, you're now at one hit point. Getting up from prone would be a move action. Then you could do a five foot stuffing attack if you want. So that hits. And you manage to punch the squid head off of the body. 